Uh, who would you say were your biggest musical influences? Uh, oh, I can tell you them right now. Here's, here's one. Dire Straits, oh, man. man. Tell me, that guy's not amazing. How'd that let go? Yeah, man. <laughs> He's one. Um, uh, I mean, I've been influenced by Springsteen more. I, I think I think the big influence by Springsteen, never, but who isn't? But um, more just to how he puts he puts like three hundred percent in the shows. You know what I mean? He goes at it like he's nineteen. I just yeah. thought, I always respected that in him. You know, um, um, I mean, Petty, uh, Dylan, um, Neil Young. I grew up on Neil Young. I mean, I might not hear that in there, but I mean, it's uh, it's in there. You know, like when I first started playing, I was a folk singer, and I just. I, I lived on Neil Young songs, you know. Who didn't? Mm -hmm. They were the Harvest record was one of them. Still, I think one of the greatest records ever made. You know, like Old Man. Oh, absolutely. Neil and the Damage Done. I mean, I, I mean, he wrote that stuff, and he was 21, or, or I mean, it's incredible. I think he was younger. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, and uh, and but there's, there's you know there's some, I mean, there's lots of. The great songwriters, you know, the kind like Johnny Cash was a, you know, I thought he was a brilliant songwriter. I mean, you can't hear that in my music, but I, I mean, I've thought about his writing many times. How brilliant those songs were, you know, how you could just take one of those songs and, like, you you could take a Johnny Cash song and go in and, and make a metal record with that, and it would work. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, whatever. I mean, you could do many things, you know, with a great song. So I mean, I think that. That would cover probably the gamut for me as far as what I grew up. And Leonard Skinner, I grew up on Leonard Skinner. Oh, who did? And, and you know, and then the blues came. I mean, Stevie Ray. I didn't find Stevie Ray till later in my life, but I had blues. Well, like where I'm from, um, like Matt Mingwood was a big, big band when I was growing up, and incredible. Um, that was, I believe, that was like our our own Leonard Skinner. That band was amazing, and Matt was an incredible performer. He influenced me greatly. Then you got Dutch Mason, a lot of players locally down there that I grew up on in Cape Breton, so, yeah. Any of them uh, influenced them directly in any of your songs on the new album? Um, I think about a few of them when I write, you know, I always, I write for other people too, and I always thought, you know, this would be a good song for Matt, you know, he could, his voice would eat this up, or this would be a good song for, you know, I even think about, there's one song I thought, you know, I should pitch this to Colin James, you know, because uh, I think Colin would do an amazing job with this, you know. Stuff like that. You're always just writing. You know, you write uh, when you're a songwriter. You you know, when you get into that that self-indulgent thing of when you're writing for yourself, you you're very in your own world. But when you're when you're starting just to write a song, the hopes of maybe there's another home for it. You, you, you your windows are more open to what's to keep it more general in a, in a sense lyrically or, or some kind of element of it where you know other people would grab on to it you know what mm -hmm. I mean so there's different aspects of the focus you'd be in when you're doing that but yeah I got uh, of course I love Mark Knopfler cut one of my songs mm -hmm. <laughs> but that ain't gonna happen I don't think but I don't think he's I don't think he's in need of any guitar riffs or or stuff like that but um, that'd be cool